Hey y'all, coming to you from International Headquarters of Scotty DTV, but I was at the 2018 NSRA Street Rod Nationals and I came across a 1970 Volkswagen. Well, it's partly 1970. It's a bunch of stuff. And one of the things is it's way cool. Of course, you know, having a small block twin turbo sitting out front always helps. Um, but the fabrication work and the custom work and the way it looks, it's all top notch and way cool. I think y'all are going to love it. Let me get the camera turned around and we'll take a quick look at it. Don, thanks so much for giving me some time today, brother. You're welcome. Tell thanks. me about this hot rod. Started out four years ago as a 1970 body. Uh, we bought it for $250. Kept looking at it. I had it in my head that I wanted to build something with a V8 twin turbo chars with a different frame than a Volkswagen. A lot of different parts. I knew I wanted to chop it. I've chopped several of them. I wanted to do suicide doors on it. So we stretched this 1970. We put a 23 T-bucket Speedway Motors frame underneath of it. We cut every bracket off when it came to the house brand new. Rewelded everything. We put a 1960 hood on the front. It's a 70 body. So we had to stretch the cowl a little bit in the front, six inches. We put a 1960 apron on the back for a 1960 rear hood just to make it different because it has a better shape and it looks like a W hood and it's older looking. Then we took and put their 20 inch by eight Dodge rims that come underneath a brand new Dodge pickup under the back. We had a guy in Cincinnati, Ohio weld 1940 hoops in them to match the front wheels that came from Coker tires. They're huge on the back, they're 36 inches tall and it just makes it look more like a wild looking street ride thing. And then we bought a brand new Craig, or. Uh, crate motor, 350 Chevy motor, made 293 horsepower. We twin turbo charged it with uh, two 21 millimeter Godspeed turbos from California. Custom made headers, made 597 horsepower, two speed power glide, Chevrolet power glide, 27 hertz stall converter in it. And then I started sheet metal in the thing. We built all the floors, hand built by me, all the firewall. Then I opened the top up like a rag top on a Volkswagen. And we decided, well, that's cool, but let's, how are we going to do a headliner in this thing? So I hand sheet metaled all the little bit that was left of the headliner in it, hand sheet metaled it. It's all painted inside. We did a low car shifter in it, a uh, real tall one that looks kind of cool in it. I had a uh, upholstery shop in Belleville, Illinois, Waterloo, Illinois, actually Matt from Matt Designs. He did all the interior, a dark tan leather, kind of like a, a bomber leather. It's all double stitch, small diamonds, and uh, he did the seats. We actually made a, a headliner and a roof panel that slips in and out of the car, and it's all done top and bottom. He did the seats, the shifter, the carpet. There's carpet in where the uh, motor used to be in the back. That's all now the gas tank. From, it's got an 87 Dodge half-ton pickup rear end in the back because we needed the length on it to get the tires to clear the body. Then it's our own paint. It started out as a 2000 accent green uh, Nissan color. We took a DuPont in St. Louis and my painter mixed blacks and some other colors in it and they kept record of everything and it came out to be turbo bug green now so it's oh, registered wow. cool it's, it's registered with DuPont now so if you want to buy it it's turbo bug green and uh, it just changed the whole color of the car. We were after like the old school or like a bomber look of the uh, 40s and that the airplanes or something like an army type thing when we come up with the design of the dash and everything inside. The gauges are from uh, O'Reilly's, they're, they're uh, Equus uh, gauges, but they look, if you look at an old plane from the 40s, they have the double ridges on it and they have the black gauge thing, so they look like an airplane. So we kept that theme all the way through. We have all the uh, flip up switches inside, are just like an airplane back in the day. So uh, I built the console on a slant and, and we filled the whole dash. There's no glove box, everything's all hand filled by me. We just went crazy on it after that. And uh, after four years, we finished it two weeks ago and here it is at uh, Louisville, Kentucky, inside, which I never thought I'd ever see inside and uh, seems to be uh, well taken so far. Dude, it is way cool. Thank you. you rocked it. So I had my pinstriper come over last week, Friday. We're here today on Thursday at, wow. at this show. He finished pinstriping the dash and put in saying, and he did the handmade license plate on the back. I signed my name on a piece of paper in front of him. He signed it and did the back of the license plate uh, built by yeah. Don Vollmer, the legend or whatever. Yeah. And he hand did that with a pinstripe brush. He signs it better than I do. All right. So we got it done and we loaded it Friday and here we, we were here Tuesday and 
and it seems to be a hit so far. Well received, as they well say. Well received. Well, brother, I appreciate you giving me some time today, man. It is a very cool build. Thank you very much. I appreciate you. Uh, I was tickled. We were down at a Coker booth, and we heard you were up here, and here we are. Man, so. thank you, thank you. Thank you very Have much. Have a good show. All right, thank you. So there you go from the 2018 NSRA Street Ride Nationals, Louisville, Kentucky. A 1970s Volkswagen bug named Insane. I think I'd have to agree. How about you? Hope you all have enjoyed it. See ya! Hey y'all, make sure you subscribe to this channel and visit scottydtv.com for an easy way to search the hundreds of videos I have posted. Either click the link in the description or the one at the end of this video.